I'm calling this meeting to order of public transit. Um, I do need to read this statement first. Just give me a second. Um, we do not have a physical quorum, so I'm calling the meeting of the Public Transit Committee to order. A physical quorum of members is not present. However, pursuant to Section 7E of the Open Meetings Act, members are permitted to attend remotely. Either one member of the committee, the Chief Administrative Office officer or our chief legal counselor physically present at the regular meeting location. In-person attendance and public comments are allowed subject to attendance limitations required to ensure the health and safety of those who attend. Okay, all uh, right. So I'm first going to call the meeting to order and then I'd like to have a roll call please. Again. You're going to need to get under the mic. Okay, I am calling the meeting to order. I've just read the um, Open Meetings Act that members can attend remotely, and I'd like to do a roll call. Do we have? Um, I think it would be helpful if Jonathan moved over here. So Jonathan's in the back. I don't think okay, anyone can hear him. Right. So if he moves over here, I think that would be helpful. Okay, thank you. Okay, roll Colbert. Here. Here. Bisiani. Aye. Here. Ozog. Here. Krajewski. Aye. Shorzy. Here. Tornatori. Here. Okay. Thank you. Do we have any public comment today? No. No? Okay. All right. Then I'd like to move on to the approval of minutes from the October 6, 2020 meeting. Any comments? First of all, may I have a motion? So moved. Moved, And a second? Second. Coordinatory, second. Thank you. Uh, and do we have any comments or changes to the minutes of October 6, 2020? No? Okay, can we have a roll call, please? Aye. 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 Cobert? Aye. Bisiani? Aye. Ozog? Aye. Excuse me, Okay. Uh, so approval of minutes next. Chairman's remarks. Um, first of all, I want to welcome all of you to this committee. Um, I want to especially thank Sam Torrentori, who will be serving as the Vice Chair of Public Transit. And I also want to thank John Loper, who is the Chief Transportation Planner, and Chris Snyder, who is Director of Transportation, for meeting with me on the 23rd of December. Uh, we had a good um, overview meeting and discussed what's coming, uh, what will be um, on our agenda for this committee and public transit in DuPage County in 2021. Um, just a couple of comments. Um, it's going to be a very difficult year for our mass transit providers. Uh, we do not have CTA obviously in the county, but we do have extensive pace and metro service. So I'll look forward to working with RTA, Metra, and pace as we go forward this year. Um, obviously, ridership has um, been decimated. So there's going to be many issues as we hopefully move out of the COVID crisis hopefully by the third quarter, maybe this year. And uh, we will have to see how things go with our mass transit providers. Um, one issue that I brought up on the 23rd of December is my particular um, passion, shall we say, for the Prairie Path, um, all of our trails in DuPage County. Um, I live right outside the Prairie Path and have for 35 years. But this year in particular, really starting from April onward, um, I think usage was really through the ceiling. I think that the, our trails have been a really wonderful resource during uh, the pandemic and people can get out there, move around. It's been a really great resource. So um, we'll be working to be sure that our, our current uh, maintenance program continues this year and uh, see what the new year brings in terms of even more increased um, ridership, I guess we can say. Um, Otherwise, I again want to welcome everybody here. And with that, I'd like to move on to our staff update, which is giving us an overview of, which will give us an overview of 2021. So, John? 
Good morning, everybody. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, and thank you for bringing the presentation up. Uh, hopefully everyone received their uh, copies of that presentation yesterday. I'll just, uh, I'll try to make this brief and, uh, and get on to uh, PACE updates uh, here um, quickly. So uh, just, just a brief introduction. Uh, I'm John Loper. I, I haven't had the uh, honor of, of meeting some of you uh, yet, but I have been with the county for uh, over 31 years, uh, usually through the through the DOT, and uh, I am the the uh, the chief transportation planner and also the impact fee administrator. Uh, also on staff serving this committee is Jonathan Van Brock. Um, He's our front office staff uh, and in charge of putting together the minutes and posting the agenda. So if there are any uh, issues with those, you can uh, touch base with me or with Jonathan. And uh, we both report to Chris Snyder, who is the director of DOT. Uh, committee business in general, before we get started with the kind of the agenda is, this is a, a fairly low budget uh, committee. Um, we don't uh, usually see capital improvements, equipment or operations. Um, hit the committee, um, we do usually have on the agenda uh, project updates, uh, advisories, uh, presentations, sometimes agreements, sometimes grant approvals. And um, we also have the partners, um, whether it's PACE or METRA uh, or RTA, uh, present their uh, initiatives that are important to your constituents and your county board districts. Um, and, and frequently we do actually invite uh, members of Metra and PACE uh, boards to come out and, and uh, give their perspectives on what's happening in the world of public transit. Um, we rarely see procurements, but we might see some this year, especially with a couple of the projects that we have going on. Uh, so three fundamental themes that we have going on this year are mobility, uh, bike pad and planning. Uh, I know uh, a couple of you perhaps uh, saw uh, Chris's presentation on the, on, uh, on the agenda for DOT, and we shared the agenda of the long range transportation plan, but mobility is, is really kind of the, the key item this year. This is kind of broad spectrum um, uh, initiative from traditional transit service to pedestrian, public and private, and relationships between mobility and all aspects of the economy. So it isn't simply just about uh, about public transit, but it, it goes everything, uh, handles everything from um, uh, walkability and bike and, uh, and bike and ped all the way up to the, the traditional mass transit. Um, since we're not a service agency, we do work with PACE and Metro on projects of mutual interest and, and benefit. So uh, there'll be a lot of things that we'll uh, be talking about, you know, related to the transit agencies, but, you know, we want to focus on more than just simply bus transportation. For bike ped, uh, DuPage County manages some of the most incredible assets that we have, you know, in the county, the, you know, the public in public right of way, the, the trail assets, the, um, Illinois Prairie Path and the Great Western Trail. Uh, we also manage, as Chris had pointed out in his presentation, a, a great amount of sidewalk, over 300 miles of sidewalk and bike trail, mm -hmm. uh, and all the system that kind of surrounds that, including all the safety systems, the, um, the, the pedestrian crossings, uh, except in places where uh, it's under municipal control. Um, but we, you know, we evaluate those crossings as well because they're of interest to us and uh, the public safety. Um, the county DOT also administers the ADA program uh, on facilities within the county highway rights of way, and uh, is a responsibility that we're taking very, very seriously. Uh, we have a DOT ADA coordinator who you will probably get to know at some point. His name is Sidney Kenyon. He's also the trails planner, and so. Sid will come into the committee and talk a little bit about um, what's going on in the trails and uh, probably the ComEd uh, program for the year. And I think uh, Mike Tuman, who might be on on the on the uh, conference here, and his staff uh, maintain the surface of the trails. And at some point, we you know maybe they can come in and talk a little bit about their pro program as well and their responsibilities uh, for planning. DOT will complete its first long range transportation plan this year, as well as its comprehensive road improvement plan for impact fees. 
and its first five-year capital improvement plan. Uh, so it's a busy time for planning um, and uh, this particular person and, and our section in DOT. So um, if you all have any questions about the long-range plan uh, and things that have gone on up to this date, I'm happy to take those, those questions at some point in the, in the future. Next slide, please. So there are uh, a number of programs that are going on presently. Uh, these are kind of summaries of, of where we are. Uh, the mobility plan uh, is, uh, is kind of a uh, adjunct uh, expansion of the DuPage Area Trans uh, Transit Plan that was last produced in 2011. I'm gonna take this into kind of a new area um, where it isn't just about, uh, about bus transportation or rail transportation, it's about working with communities and uh, and uh, uh, certain corridors that will help us, you know, help us achieve a, a, a better and more thorough um, uh, expansion of transit services uh, for those who are in need of, of transit services. Um, the second grant that we have uh, have going presently is all is called the Wilbrook Corners um, grant, which. Um, is a $50,000 grant uh, issued by IDOT uh, uh, just recently. And we have, uh, have put that out um, uh, through the QBS system for uh, proposals, which are due in about two weeks. And uh, this will be talking about how, you know, how we serve a disadvantaged neighborhood um, at 91st Street and 80, 83. Uh, in Southeast uh, DuPage County. Um, a, a number of uh, county board members, uh, uh, Julie Renahan and others have been very interested in this particular uh, issue, uh, as is the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. And we'll be working with them and a variety of other stakeholders to kind of set the parameters for how to best serve that community, this disadvantaged community in, in Southeast DuPage. Uh, Cook DuPage Corridors, this has been an ongoing initiative that um, has kind of flowed from, you know, a, a 20 year project uh, called the Cook DuPage Corridor. And in this, this particular uh, iteration, uh, IDOT is uh, pursuing engineering uh, solutions and, and traffic signal solutions along North Avenue and the 22nd Street CIRMAC Corridors uh, in Cook County and in DuPage County. And DuPage County is interested in this, obviously, because it will the services that that may come from this and you know from Pace might be arterial rapid transit, might be bus rapid transit, some other types of services, and bus preemption on those on those roadways will ultimately serve our uh, industrial and uh, retail complexes uh, in DuPage County, and so not only good for uh, transportation and and uh, commuting between the two counties, but it's also good for our businesses and economic uh, opportunities here in DuPage. So uh, it, it's, a, it's kind of a robust uh, project. Uh, DuPage County Trails Plan, uh, bicycle ped system, uh, moving on to that. Um, we're pursuing our first uh, ever trails plan. The plan, uh, plan because it's going to cover uh, trails policy, maintenance practices, design, uh, wayfinding, especially um, uh, cooperation and coordination with forest preserve trails and other uh, and other municipal trails. Um, the plan is going to be funded uh, through uh, Chicago Metropolitan Area Planning. Uh, it's called the Uni uh, Unified Work Program Grant. Uh, the counties uh, are part of the core grant program and uh, about every seven years, six or seven years, DuPage County is awarded uh, an amount of money to, uh, to uh, bolster its uh, planning um, and um, uh, services. So this particular grant is gonna be for about $300,000. The county has a match of $60,000 on this. And uh, we're very excited to to get this going and to really recognize the uh, the importance of the of the trail system throughout DuPage. Finally, I, I covered a little bit about the long range transportation plan uh, earlier, but um, it, it is a really significant project. Um, this is really the first time I think we've we've published a you know our, our 
true you know, constrained financial uh, program over the course of, of 20 years. We, we typically do that for a five year or 10 year period uh, under the comprehensive road improvement plan, but that's an unconstrained um, financing uh, plan. This is a constrained plan and, and in that we'll, we'll uh, publish a list of capital projects, uh, resurfacing, uh, reconstruction, operations and maintenance um, uh, programs for the next 20 years. Um, finally, we, you know, we also do a lot of work with partner agencies and as we mentioned before, Pace, Metra, RTA, uh, they're significant and their contributions have been very significant to the committee. Uh, and we, you know, we really respect their, their time and, and efforts in, uh, in, in helping us understand what they're going through. Next slide, please. So these are more the details about what's coming up in terms of uh, our, our work program, Willowbrook Corners we talked about, proposals due mid-January, uh, mid, uh, mid -January. Uh, going to consultant selection in February with uh, a professional services contract awarded sometime in April or May of 2021. Very similar timeline for the mobility plan, uh, but um, um, RTA will be, uh, be handling the, the proposals, but we will be uh, involved in reviewing the proposals and the consultant selection. Uh, and then we will have a technical agreement that we'll sign between RTA and DuPage um, covering the scope of services. Um, finally, the trails plan, again, uh, that one was, was also, po the RFP was posted on 12-3. Uh, we're going to actually receive the proposals due late in January, um, and it will take us a little longer to go through the consultant selection, I'm sure, just due to the, uh, the, the larger scope. And then an April-May uh, professional services contract. Uh, the DuPage LRTP, you know, just keep watching for that and we'll keep, uh, keep you posted on uh, stakeholder um, uh, opportunities for the committee to participate in and uh, review and, and uh, commentary that, uh, that you all might be able to, uh, to add um, you know, in the process of finalizing this plan. So that's kind of our upcoming work program and uh, next slide please. These are the staff contacts. Like I say, you can always contact me uh, anytime, any day, uh, or John Van Brock. Um, Sid Kenyon will, uh, will sometimes alternate um, as staff liaison uh, to this committee, uh, depending upon the, uh, the date and the, uh, and the scope of the meeting. So thank you so much for your time and, and appreciate uh, uh, all your efforts uh, this year. And uh, don't hesitate to give me a call. Chair, I think you're muted. Thank you so much, John. Um, I believe everything that was in your slide presentation has been sent to all the members. Is that correct? That I did that yesterday. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, so that will be a really good up to speed effort for everybody. So thank you so much. This was uh, very enlightening. A lot of things to be done this year. So thank you very much. Um, next, I want to move on to old business. Um, any old business? I don't believe so. Okay, seeing none. Any new business from any of the committee members? Okay, see, hearing none, um, I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn. Moved. Do I have a second? I can be see any. Okay, thank you. Um, roll call. Tory. Roll call, please. Troy Tory. Colbert. Isiani. Aye. Ozog. Aye. Kajuski. Aye. I'd just like to add that um, two of the members needed to move on to the development committee. Uh, thank you all so much, and we will let you know when our next meeting will be scheduled. I'm also hoping this year that last year this committee met four times and I definitely hope that we can meet at least six times uh, depending on the need and what's going on with various proposals. Thanks again, everybody. Thank Thanks. you. Happy New Year.